it's Lee from Leadership Photography. In previous videos, I've already gone through the simple compositing the three frames together to get this background. Um, some retouching that I've done on the skin. This was the original. I'll just so there. That was the original. Um, we tidied it up a bit. Um, did some dodging and burning, and that's where we are now. Um, the one thing I wanted to to fix uh, before going forward is that. She's really squinting into the sun, um, and this eye um, is squinting more than this eye. Um, and I would like to just even them up a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna, I made a stamped layer, so uh, Shift Option Command E, or Shift Option Control E, if you're on Windows maybe, um, will give you a stamp of all your visible layers up until that point. Um, so I'm going to go into Filter, Liquify. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, I'm using the uh, Forward Warp tool. It's the one that I mainly use in here. And I've got it at, like, I'm using a stylus, but I'm not using my pressure. I've just got 11, density 19. Um, and I'm just going to, lift up a little bit that upper eyelid. Okay, and then maybe zoom in a little bit and grab the lower eyelid. Okay, lots of tiny brush strokes, I'm not trying to do too much at once. Still trying to, you know, maintain a natural shape to her eye. Um, and also don't want to distort the, the pupil, uh, sorry, the iris either. So that's one option. Let's just zoom out. How does that look? We can show the backdrop so we can see how it looked before. If I just click that and I um, mode in front, and then you'll see it. If you click it off, that's there. That's Maybe a tad too much. That, look, that looks okay. That's okay. All right, so click okay. There we go. So I'll just name that liquify eye. Okay, I'm not going to do any other liquefying on this picture. I think that's all that we need to do. Okay. So that was just like a little quick video on using um, the liquify tool pretty gently. Um, on an eye. Uh, so I'm gonna...